Welcome back, this is the Amber Jack. Today we got Gunslinger Biolab Suicidal. I'm gonna drink some water. You are here to clean out Zeds. And here come your first targets. Eyes open. I've got a friend who uh whenever I drink. Um he's always like, you know you gotta watch the calories in those. Um I love him dearly, I do. He's uh he's one of my, my favorite people for sure. Um but whenever I, uh, in the house. I, uh, I drink, he's always like, you know, you, you gotta be careful of those. And uh, he's right, you know. There's, uh, there's definitely a lot of, um, calories in, in any kind of alcohol. Um, but, uh... To me, it's just like I don't know. I don't drink enough to where I have to worry about it, you know. Like, I don't. I don't drink often enough to the point where I have to like actually concern myself with how much alcohol I'm drinking. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people, I like, get it. A lot of people have an alcohol problem. You know, like it's it's a major problem. Um, but uh, you know, I just I don't drink that much. So when I when I drink, I just I don't worry about the calories. I don't worry about how much like alcohol I'm drinking. I just drink an amount that I want to drink, and then I carry on because I don't want to drink an irresponsible amount, right? Um, so I understand why he's concerned. You know, he cares about me and he wants to to make sure that I'm not making poor life decisions. I get it. I appreciate it. But uh, it's always funny when it happens because it's like every time, and I'm like, I know. I'm still gonna drink, like, you know, some days you're just, the way it happened today was I was just, uh, I was talking to my sister and she's like, you need a drink? I'm like, heck yeah, let's get a cocktail going. <laughs> so she's like, alright. And, uh, she threw together a nice little cocktail. And, um, you know, it was, it was nice and refreshing and, uh, delightful. I feel good. Feel uh, mighty good, and uh, yeah, it'll be a while before I drink again. You know, don't have to worry about it. It's not. It's not in the cards of, uh, of things I have to concern myself with, which I recognize as being privileged, right? Because again, a lot of people are addicted to it, and they have to like constantly be monitoring um, how much alcohol they're drinking, and. Uh, I just don't. Come see me. The pod safely but I think that's that's kind of how it works for a lot of things, right? Like uh, it happens with weight loss as well. Oftentimes, um, people will be like, "Oh, I don't know. You know, I eat a lot and I don't put on weight. You know, it's uh, it's crazy. You know, you just got a bad metabolism or whatever. You know." But uh, I think the re the the reality is is you know when I say I drank a lot, I had a cocktail, right? Like that was me drinking a lot. Right, that was that was me being like, eh, you know, let's let's uh let's get a little let's get a little wild tonight, you know. One singular cocktail and a shot of, of vodka. You know, for other people that's like normal Friday night. You know what I mean? And then like, you know, when when they want to get wild, it's like beyond that. It's that that's that's just normal. You know. Um. So it happens a lot with uh, with weight loss as well, where where somebody will be like, oh, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I eat a lot, and it's, uh, you know, I don't put on weight, and or maybe I've just been blessed or whatever. And I'm like, I don't know. The reality is, is you just don't eat as much as you thought you did, or if you're fat, you probably eat more than you think you do. You know, to put it in perspective, like somebody who weighs like 300 pounds, they're not eating like half a bag of chips a day. They're eating like a bag of chips or more every day along with like two of your dinners for breakfast and then also like a dinner for dinner you know like it's it's like it's an enormous amount of food that you have to eat to be able to maintain that kind of a weight and um you know uh, a lot of people think that they eat a lot because like oh i had uh, you know i had a bag of chips yesterday it was a it was a, it was a big uh, big eating day i'm gonna put on a lot of weight i'm like yeah, you, you made a 
you know, poor decision to eat an entire bag of chips in a day, but, like, you know, the reality of it is, is that's, like, normal for people who are, like, you know, 300, 400 pounds or whatever, right? So then I think that, uh, that what happens is just your kind of, your kind of perspective on, on these things is always, is always sort of limited to your own personal experience with it, right? Like, obviously, you know, duh. But, um, you know, so when you, uh, should be this one. So when you, uh, yee, um, when, when you're thinking about how much you're eating, you know, you think about, like, how much you would like to be eating, and then, like, how much you're splurging on stuff, and uh, you view that as being a lot, but you just, you're not aware of, of how much you know, somebody else is eating it. and it comes down to the same with drinking, you know, like I consider myself to be a uh, a light drinker. I consider myself today to have drank quite a lot. I had again like a, a whole, you know, cocktail with vodka and some other liqueurs in it. It was it was it was quite a lot of alcohol for for what I normally drink, which is none. Um and then uh you know, Somebody, somebody else might might view that as being Monday morning's breakfast, you know. So you just you never really know how bad somebody else has a problem, an addiction, until uh, until you have it. So it's so hard to to recognize how insane like these these problems can be, you know. Like if I buy a bottle of vodka, it'll last me probably like months. You know what I mean? Like it'll last me a very 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 long time so I just I don't drink that much I don't care to you know for other people they're buying like multiple bottles of booze every weekend and um, you know it's uh, you, you just you don't you don't recognize how, how crazy it is until you actually like experience it yourself you know I haven't experienced alcoholism um, but I know a few people who are alcoholics and who have been alcoholics, and I've spoken with them, you know, about it. So I have an idea of how much they they drink on a, you know, on a weekend, and it's an enormous amount of booze. That's just the way it is with like any uh, addiction, you know. Like you know, even with something as simple as smoking, you know, you might have people who are, come on, please. You might have people who are smoking but but don't view it as being like a major problem in their lives um being like i don't know like why all these people having trouble like quitting smoking when when their doctor says to stop you know like i just kind of stopped smoking but it's like you know some people are smoking a, a cigarette a day other people are smoking like two packs a day you know like addiction goes so 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 much farther than i think a lot of people realize know what this stuff is Break times whatever extremes you know you think of when somebody says they have an addiction to something isn't extreme enough you have been killing like almost always it, it's it's incredible how fixated people can get on on one thing to being like the solution to all of their problems you know alcohol or video games weed or you know other drugs um you know, even like Something as, as as simple as like jogging or or working or 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 you know whatever. Like if you have an addiction, if your brain's craving that the chemicals, you know, that that uh, that get generated when you're doing that activity, you're gonna seek it out way more than anybody would would even think that uh, would be like possible. You know, like like you're going beyond what is is even imaginable to, to somebody who doesn't have that addiction. You know, like people who are addicted to World of Warcraft. You know, you might be like, I don't know, like they play like, what, 12, 13 hours a day? No, they like sit there for days on end, not sleeping, pooping in diapers. <laughs> like, literally. It's, uh, it's, it's crazy how far addictions can go. That's why it's a big problem, right? That's why there's so many things out there, like, you know, like, make sure you're not addicted to whatever. It's, like, unhealthy. You know, it's, it's very easy to, to get to that point. Um, 
because you know you just you just start thinking about it in like a logical way you know like i could go do something productive i don't want to do that i could just continue sitting here doing this you know and uh, it's, it's hard to make that decision at times you know i could not drink but i already have booze so i'll just drink it and then you're you know, out and about like i don't know i'm already here i may as well pick up some booze you know and then eventually it just comes habit and you're and you're drinking a bunch or you're eating a bunch or you're playing a game a whole bunch or you're you know doing doing whatever it is that you're addicted to and uh you know the the, the top end of addiction is always so much farther than uh people could even like imagine being being possible and anybody would want to go to that extent to, to fulfill that addiction but people do it dude it's crazy anyway it's gonna do it for today Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, subscribe to more in the future, comment if you have anything to say. I'm getting a little bit more sobered up now. Again, I, I kind of sat down for a while after drinking um, to talk to a friend. So, but, bye.